Hey, are you, uh, are you dating any Russians I should know about? Well, Minskov has proposed, and he's very sweet and wealthy, but the age difference is too great. I'm 28 and he's 81. Oh, that is big. So when, I'm, when I'm 50, he'll be uh, uh, 103. That's a, that's a bad age for men. They slow up a lot. Oh, and Voskovec has made his intentions clear. But he deals in herring, and he always smells of herring. Do you know he even bought me herring-scented cologne? Really? That's probably where the cat follows you around. Love is everything, Boris. I, I want to meet some man and scale the heights of passion. Some man who embodies the three great aspects of love. Intellectual, spiritual, and sensual. Well, there's, there's not too many of us around, but it can be done. So many women settle cheaply. I know, poor things. They marry for money. Money? Well, money. But I tell you, I feel as though my life would be wasted if I didn't love deeply with a man whose mind I respected, whose spirituality equaled mine, and who had the same, oh, lustful appetite for sensual passion that drives me insane. You're an incredibly complex woman. I guess you could say I'm half saint, half whore. Just hoping I get the half that eats. Boris. Yes? I have a confession to make. Yes? Ever since you and I were little children... Yes? I've been in love with your brother, Ivan. Well, it's only that. Ivan? You're kidding. He can barely write his name in the ground with a stick. He has true animal magnetism. Animal magnetism? All that talk about some perfect love in your hot for Ivan? He kissed me. Any place I should know? It warmed the cockles of my heart. That's just great. Nothing like hot cockles. I think he's going to ask me to marry him. But he's a gambler and a drinker. He's got a Neanderthal mentality. Don't get me wrong. I love him like a brother. Just not one of mine. <laughs>